Um, let's talk about something else that may be done at least for now. Cryptocurrency rally, um, it's at least taking a pause, right? And we've had all of this commentary this week from some of the big banks like JP Morgan saying, um, you know, that Bitcoin was going to see a leg down. Well, here's a leg down. It went as low as around 47,000. The 50 day moving average, which, um, you know, in Bitcoin, as we've sort of discussed, in the absence of fundamental drivers, technical drivers tend to gain more importance. And I know that 50 day moving average is something a lot of investors were watching closely. That said, if you're a cryptocurrency investor, guys, you kind of have to expect volatility. That's part of the deal. Um, and maybe some of the newer crypto investors didn't, but even if you're new, there still have been pullbacks. So uh, this seems just like it's kind of part of it, right, Miles? Yeah, look, uh, I can't wait to talk to Jared Blickery in about 30 minutes to get his view on the technical setup for Bitcoin, because um, I've seen a lot of TA on the feed over the last 24 hours that this was not or this is no longer a, just a beautiful looking chart. So we'll get into that um, on Doge, whatever, like it was always a joke. So now it's down 30 percent. I mean, you know, I, what, what, do you, what can you really say about it? What I will say, though, is as crypto becomes a larger part of you know serious real money allocations, which which I think we all believe and know it's going to be in the years ahead. What's the standard line on crypto? Crypto is a very volatile asset, and it's not for everybody, right? We talked to Michael Sonnenschein uh, of Grayscale not too long ago on that exact point. I mean, kind of tongue in cheek, but also seriously, I think that's basically Brian Sazi code from you know your friendly wealth manager or whatever to say, don't ask me why crypto is up or down. It's going to go up and down all the time, and I'm not really going to have a good answer for you. Well, here, I think the action we're seeing this week, Miles, uh, look what happened yesterday on, on talk of a higher capital gains tax. And, and Julie, you have to wonder, does the Bitcoin trade oh, work boy. if we're talking about a, a land of a potential 44% oh, uh, you know, capital gains tax? Not looking good. Yeah, I mean... No, wow. I don't. We're doing this. We're doing this already. We're getting. We're, no, we're not doing it. We're doing it next. We're doing it next. That's a great tease. 